here is another colon tumor. Notice here is a normal mucosa. Here is a normal submucosa. Here is a normal mucosa traversing over a little submucosal hump. Notice we still have normal mucosa here, but in this area, the mucosa, uh, as well as in the mucosa here, appears to be overlying a projection of submucosa, which is overgrown by polyp. This is a polyp. And because the glands of this polyp uh, do not have serration because they are all darker. They do not have much orientation of their uh, nuclei towards the base. Uh, they are atypical. They are occasionally darker and bigger and lumpier than they should be. And also, you can see here and 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 here are mitotic figures. This is an adenomatous polyp, and you can see considerable atypia here. Now, do you remember when I told you that sometimes these adenomatous polyps can turn into cancer? Well, look what happened. This one did turn into cancer. And by the time you know that this is the polyp over here, but uh, some of these glands of the polyp have decided to invade into the connective tissue <clears throat> of the stalk. So this is very, very clearly an example of irregular malignant glands from a <clears throat> malignant change with an adenomatous polyp now invading into the stalk. And let's see if we could get a, a lower power view of that just to show you from a bird's eye view that even though you might describe these changes out here as being classically adenomatous polyp or tubular adenoma, somewhere along the line there's been a malignant change and now some of these glands are infiltrating into the stalk. Once any tumor infiltrates into the stalk and beyond the muscularis mucosa, it then runs the risk of being a potentially metastasizable tumor. And whereas, if you were to examine this part of the stalk uh, or cut this part, you might tell the surgeon, oh, don't worry, the stalk is okay. Well, maybe the edge of the stalk is okay, but there are glands out here and out here in which cancer has invaded the stalk. And let's get another view because what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare these irregular, dark, uh, malignant infiltrating glands with the normal glands of the normal mucosa. Here are your cancerous glands. Here and here, irregular, dark, infiltrating, pleomorphic latomitoses, right next door to a bunch of perfectly nice altar boys forming the... Uh, mucosa, which covers the stalk. But on the other side of the fence, these bad boys have infiltrated into the stalk. Thank you very much.